Hi guys, what's going on today? It's it's Fred the Incredible here, and I'm back with another unboxing video. Now, um, this past Monday, I was able to take part in my first ever Whatnot auction, which was hosted by none other than and one of my favorite YouTubers, was Satch Pop. Now, um, um, I first of all, I'd like to thank you all for um helping me reach a thousand subscribers here on YouTube. And if you got eyes um are excited about this video, please be sure to um hit that subscribe button down below and leave a like on this video. And also please be sure to ring the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any future content that I'm coming out with. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. Now, uh, when uh, was Satch Pop up was uh, um, doing this whatnot auction back on Monday, um, some of the uh, uh, Funko Pops he was selling were uh, related to Guardians of the Galaxy. And when I became a uh, um, when I first became a Funko Pop collector, or ten years ago, the Guardians of the Galaxy Funko Pops, the fir related to the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie, that is, um, were um, some of the first Funko Pops that I. I ever added to my collection. Now, um, currently, um, um, the uh, two that I have in my collection so far are um, Rocket the Raccoon and Star Lord. And in retrospect, I really should have kept that uh, that fun kill pop of Star Lord from from the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie in the box. And I highly regret at uh, removing the, both the box and insert from my collection. Okay. Yeah. Fortunately, these are all in bubble wrap. Okay. I'll move these out of the. Uh, I'll remove these from the box one by one so that you guys can see. But starting off, ooh, we've got Drax. Um, from Guardians of the Galaxy. And for those of you who, uh, uh, are new to the... Well, for those of you who are new to, uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Drax of the Guardians of the Galaxy was played by Dave Bautista, who you may remember as, uh, Duke Harkonnen in, in the Dune movies. Yeah. Um, I was pr I was pretty excited to add this, uh, Funko Pop of Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy to my collection. And, um, uh, I was also pretty surprised when I, I saw that, uh, Wasatch Pop up included these, uh, special stickers, um, with each Funko Pop that he, he auctions off. And, um, Wasatch Pop, if you're watching this video, um, I thank you highly for, for auctioning off these Guardians of the Galaxy Funko Pops, because I needed these dearly for my collection. Okay. Now, moving on to the next Funko Pop that I won at Wasatch Pop's auction, I, al I also won this Funko Pop of Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy, which is going to be Pop number 51 in the Marvel line. Now, I was actually pretty excited about this Funko Pop in general, mainly because um, uh, Star Lord and Gamora would have been a great power couple. Now, for those of you who didn't know, um, Gamora is actually the daughter of Thanos. Well, one of the two daughters of Thanos, whereas Thanos' other daughter is Nebula. Now, here's a bit of a closer look um, to this fun kill pop of Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy. But um, based on what in this fun kill pop of her first release, she kind of looked um, like a little girl. Um, well... That's when uh, Thanos adopted her, um, as seen in Avengers Infinity War. Okay. Now, if I ever um, get to meet, meet Gamora, well, if I ever get to meet Zoe Saldana, who played Gamora of the Guardians of the Galaxy in the near future, I, I potentially want to get her to sign this Funko Pop. And I'll go ahead and put it down here for the time being. Now, moving on to the last fun kill pop that I was able to uh, win from the uh, from that whatnot auction, 
I got this one of Dancing Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, for uh, those of you who have never seen Guardians of the Galaxy before, uh, Groot was played by um, um, Vin Di Well, he was voiced and played by Vin Diesel. And, uh, di <laughs> funnily enough, uh, Vin Diesel made his voice pretty high when he, he when he um, did the voice of Groot as a, of both Groot as a baby, um, followed by uh, Dancing Groot here, as seen in the end of the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. And on that note, he also um, he also voiced uh, uh, Groot as a teenager in Guardians of the Galaxy. Well, not Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two, but um, well, technical. Technically, he did play a uh, teenage Groot at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, as well as the Avengers Infinity War. Okay, you guys, here's a bit of a closer look um, to this Funko Pop of Dancing Groot. But um, you can see he's uh, inside of a little flower pot. And uh, if this Funko Pop could move, it, it, would, uh, it would be pretty cool. Oh, if you were actually dancing. <laughs> but other than that, I actually like this Funko Pop in general. Okay, I don't want to end this video here, but um, uh, but I have another special surprise for you guys. You know, um, back on Tuesday, um, well, this past Tuesday, um, I went over to Hot Topic over or at the uh, mall that I usually go to for Funko Pops. And I was able to get this, um, um, this one fun kill pop of Sokka from Avatar the, the Last Airbender for only $5. Yeah, and on that note, the Hot Topic that I went to, it was having a special sale going on. Now, um, I will be, uh, uh taking this out of the box just briefly to show you guys, um, in closer detail. Okay, you guys. Now here's a bit of a closer look um to this fun kill pop, to this fun kill pop of Sokka from Avatar: The Last Airbender. Pardon my stuttering, by the way. But um, um, I actually like all all of the detail that Fun Kill put into this um figurine in general. And I especially like how that they um, put some uh, extra de detail into Sokka's weapon here. Now, Sokka didn't really look like this entirely in the show, but, um, um, this is, um, the face paint that he wore when the Fire Nation attacked Sokka's and in Katara's, uh, water village at, at the beginning of the show. Now, back on Tuesday, in addition to adding the, well, in addition to getting that, uh, fun kill pop of Sokka from Avatar The Last Airbender, I also got, um, one of these Japanese Pokemon treats, and I remember the last time I got, up, I actually got one of these, um, it was back when, uh, well, back when, uh, COVID hit, uh, when my, when my younger sister was in, uh, well, when, uh, back when my younger sister was starting at, at, uh, Xavier University. Okay, now these usually come with, uh, some special stickers. And let's see. Ooh! The uh, sticker that I got um, was a Shattered Foil sticker of Galarian Moltres. And as you guys can probably tell, it's um, in Japanese. Okay, I'll go ahead and give you guys a little taste test to this um, Japanese Pokemon treat. He's pretty good. Kind of like those hoodie kind of like those little Debbie Nutty Buddies. Okay, so um I think what I'm gonna do with these um three Guardians of the Galaxy fun kill pops is I'm gonna go ahead and put them here on my desk. And as for this um other fun kill pop, which was of Sokka from Avatar the Last Airbender, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my on my bookshelf next to my, my pop of floating aim. That I got uh, for my birthday back in April. Oh, and one more thing that I forgot to tell you guys is that if you guys haven't already, please be sure to follow me on my social media. X, Instagram, Snapchat, and Goodreads. All of those will be down in the description down below. 
But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace!